And that is the finale of The Voice. Blake Shelton pulling off the huge upset <laughs> last night. His one finalist beating Adam Levine's three. Blake was just giddy afterwards. You know what? He told me that if he pulled this off, it would be an epic <laughs> fail on Adam <laughs> Levine's part. And you know what? I like all of Adam's guys, I all three too. of them. You know, they were really, really good, and I feel yeah. sorry for them today. But here's what, don't feel sorry. No, because you got to feel good for the new champ, Craig Wayne Boyd. Craig Wayne Boyd! <laughs> when I first won, I was looking around everywhere to find my son. That was the most important thing to me at that moment. Um, I finally found him, and they got him brought up. I remember, um, they brought him up and then I had to start singing, so <laughs> I was like, I gotta finish the song. We stayed up a little late last night. The Nashville crooner has gone from struggling single dad to two-year-old son Jackson to the fourth singer of Team Blake to ever win on the show, making him instantly recognizable on the street. <laughs> it changes my life as a father in the fact that I'll be able to provide for him much better than I have in the past. Now Craig says he plans to tour immediately and hopes to play 250 plus dates next year. So get ready to hear the single that broke the iTunes chart live. Blake's best advice to me was just to continue to be myself. Don't let people change me um, and stick to my guns on the, who I am as a person. What is winning the voice do for for these, these contestants? Well, it's just a boost, you know, because uh, I think everybody in the finale walks away with a big opportunity and, and a fan base and a chance to make a record for sure. So winning the thing just gives you that extra level of, of coverage and, and it's important. Well, he's getting plenty of support from our ET Now community who were definitely showing the love. At Miss T West says, Craig, you made me start listening to country. Congratulations, you deserve it. To me, the, one of the coolest things that has happened is the folks that say, I don't like country music or I don't listen to country music, but I love what you do. Now from Craig's Nashville swagger to Pitbull's Miami flavor. Fire it all. His New Year's Revolution special is heating up the NYE countdown on Fox, live from the MIA. When it's not cold and it's hot, what do people do? They wear less clothes. <laughs> You wear less clothes, it's more sexy. If it's more sexy, it's more energy. More energy, more people watching going, man, I wish I was in Miami right now. And Pitt is Mr. 305, but he's also a proud Cuban American. And we talked today after President Obama announced that he was making steps to normalize relations with Cuba. And Pitt said he really hopes that happened. He's holding out hope for it because his biggest dream is to perform at the Malacan in Cuba.